Hello people, welcome to Code Framer. In this video, we are going to understand the following topics. What are Python statements? What is physical line and logical line in Python source file? Single line and multi-line statements. What are simple and compound statements? Try to understand the concepts clearly, so, give your complete attention until the end, as these topics are the fundamentals of the language. This will help you in a big way, to deepen your knowledge in Python. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep learning and growing. So, without wasting any more time, let us get into the video. Sit back and enjoy. Let us start with the first topic. What are Python statements? As you already know by now, all the Python codes are written in the Python source file, which is also known as the .py file. When the source file is executed, the interpreter runs through each line of code, one by one, and executes it accordingly. To understand how compiler and interpreter work, I recommend you to watch the video with the title, How Python Code Executes, I have given the link in the i button, and also in the description. Now getting back to the topic. The interpreter will execute the source file line by line, where each line holds certain instructions for the interpreter. Now the question is, how does the interpreter read the instructions, from each line of code in the source file. The interpreter reads the instructions from the source file, by converting each physical line into a logical line. So what is the physical line and logical line in a Python source file? A physical line, is what you see as a single line in the Python source file. For example, all these lines are physical lines of code in the Python source file. On the other hand, a logical line is what the Python interpreter sees as a single line in the Python source file. For example, there are three physical lines, in this statement, but for the Python interpreter, it is a single logical line. After converting each physical line into logical lines, the Python interpreter reads the instructions, and executes them accordingly. These logical lines are known as Python statements. By default, a Python interpreter always considers every single physical line, as a logical line. But, with multi-line statements, multiple physical lines can be bundled together as a single logical line. This brings us to our next topic, what are single line statements and multi-line statements? In general, Python statements can be broadly categorized, into single line statements and multi-line statements. So, what is a single line statement? If a physical line of code, contains a complete logical line for the interpreter, then such a statement, will be known as a single line statement. If you see in this example, each physical line has a logical instruction for the interpreter, and hence, each line in this block of code, can be known as a single line statement. Now, the next question is, what is a multi-line statement? If multiple physical lines of code, contain a single logical line for the interpreter, then the combination of those multiple physical lines, will be known as a multi-line statement. A multi-line statement, is usually written to improve the readability of the code. Whenever a physical line of code, crosses a certain width, then we can use multi-line statements, to break a single physical line into multiple physical lines. But remember, that the broken physical lines, will still represent the same logical line. For example, multiple numbers can be added in a single line statement, like this. But, to improve the readability of the code, we can break this expression, into multiple physical lines, by using the backslash symbol at the end of each physical line, as shown here. When the Python interpreter, reads this expression, it will evaluate the first physical line. Now when it finds the backslash at the end of the first physical line, it will move to the second physical line. But remember, because of the backslash, the interpreter will evaluate the second physical line, as the same logical line. After evaluating the second physical line, the interpreter will move to the third physical line, and again because of the backslash in the second physical line, the interpreter will evaluate the third physical line, as the same logical line. Hence, in this way, the Python interpreter will consider these three physical lines of code, as a single logical unit, and it will evaluate it as a single logical line. In this example, the result of the expression will be calculated as a single logical unit, and it will be stored in the variable. This is how a multi-line statement work. So, you can create multi-line statements, by just ending physical lines with backslash symbols. I hope that the single line and multi-line statement concept is clear. 
If you have any doubts, then ask your questions in the comments section. Now let us move forward to our next topic, what are the types of statements in Python? Python statements can be mainly categorized into two parts. They are simple statements and compound statements. Let us first have a look at the simple statement. So, what is a simple statement? Every single logical line in a Python source file is known as a simple statement in Python. There are 13 different statements in the simple statements category. But, out of those 13 statements, I will talk about two important statements in this video. All other statements are related to various reserved keywords, and at this point, it won't be right to load you with too many concepts. Hence, I will cover those topics in a future video. So, the two simple statements that we are going to discuss are first, expression statements, and second, assignment statements. Let us first talk about expression statements. Expression statements are used to compute or evaluate expressions and write a value. Now you may have a question, what is an expression in Python? A combination of operands and operators in Python is known as an expression. For example, if 2 is added with 3, then this will be known as an expression in Python. Because it contains, 2 and 3 as operands, and plus symbol as an operator. The combination of the operands and operator in this example, is known as an expression. This expression will get evaluated by the interpreter. And in this case, the resultant value of the expression will be 5. A single expression statement can also contain multiple expressions. For example, x equals 10 plus 20 minus 5 plus 5. Here, 10 plus 20 is an expression, and 5 plus 5 is another expression. A combination of these results is another expression. So, as you can see, there are three expressions in this statement, which will be evaluated by the interpreter. One is 10 plus 20, second is 5 plus 5, and third is 30 minus 10. Hence, an expression statement can contain one or more than one expression. So, the statement in Python, which has operands and operators, and which evaluates into a resultant value, is known as an expression statement. Next one is, assignment statement. The assignment statement consists of a variable on the left side, an expression on the right side, and an assignment operator in the middle of the statement. Using the assignment operator, the resultant value of the expression on the right side of the equals operator, can be stored on the variable on the left side. In this example, the expression on the right will be evaluated, and can be stored in variable x. This is happening because of the equals operator, which is also known as an assignment operator. Hence, using the assignment statements, different types and kinds of data can be stored in variables. We will learn more about this while learning about Python operators in future videos. There are 11 other simple statements in Python, they are, assert, pass, del, return, yield, raise, break, continue, global, non-local, and last is future statement. All these statements are separate topics themselves, so I will create separate videos to explain all of them in the future. For now, just remember that these statements belong to the simple statement category in Python. Now let us move forward and try to understand the compound statements in Python. So what are compound statements? Compound statements are a group of statements, which are bundled together in such a way, that it controls or affects the execution of other statements. Compound statements usually span to multiple lines of code. A compound statement consists of a clause, and a suite. Now understand this carefully, a compound statement, always starts with a clause. The physical line of code, which ends with a colon symbol, is known as a clause. And the indented physical lines of code, that are controlled by the clause, are known as suites. The combination of both the clause and suites, is known as a compound statement. To give a short example, if, 1 is less than 2, is a compound statement with the clause, as it ends with a colon symbol. The next few lines which are indented, are known as suites, which are controlled by the clause. In this example, both the print statements are known as suites. The combination of this clause, and suites, is known as a compound statement. Following statements, are written in the form of a compound statements, in Python, they are if, while, for, try, with, function definitions, and class definitions. For now, 
Just know that these statements are written in a compound statement format. I will talk about all these concepts in the future video. It is important to understand and remember these fundamental concepts about Python statements. Do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to learn different technologies. Stay focused and enjoy learning.